give some examples of that. I know we have one from a few years ago where a software company needed some help in their marketing strategy. When our team was going with going through it with them and figuring out like, you know, so who are your clients? They said, oh, any business that has a computer. Mm -hmm. And and they felt like they had really identified their target market, businesses with computers. How much deeper should we be going than just businesses with computers? Because that's not their target market, right? It's it's much deeper than that. Yeah. And it it has to, I mean, you have to think about the customer journey too, right? So in technology specifically, and I have some, I have a little bit of, you know, experience in that working for AWS and some others in cybersecurity, you've got two sets of decision makers. You've got the hands on keyboards, the people who are actually utilizing it. And then you have the people who are actually making the decisions. So that's the CEO, the CFO, and you need to know how to talk to them at a specific level, specifically for B2B you have to know that there's gonna be multiple iterations of that conversation. So if you've thought about it and you were thoughtful in the way that you are coming to talk to these people, the hands-on keyboard, those are the developers. Those are the folks who are listening and they're, they, what they want is for their job to be easier. They don't wanna deal with compliance issues, but they wanna keep everyone safe, right? If you're dealing with an, a CFO, they're gonna to wanna to know how expensive is it? And is this going to increase my profit margin? What does it look like for a subscription model? Is it per seat? Is it the licensing model? Is that for a group of people? What does it look like? And how expensive, the more deeper I get into this as we grow, is it going to get? 